when you want to make a load count. Just spread it out a little bit. But then, you know, you get a few more. She filled to the top. A lot of bricks, five high, all the way through there. A lot of bricks on that truck and trailer. We are loaded down, loaded for bear. That's all the truck wanted. You can tell by the tires there, they're squat. That's all she wanted, but guess what? We got them back. That's all that matters. Got it all back here. Okay, y'all, we're unloading the truck out here in front of the house to uh, get the bricks out. You just make stacks along the way so you don't have to move as far. So basically, I'm gonna pull up and turn around and start going back the other way so we can offload the other side of the truck, make it a little easier. So we're still unloading block. When you think you got enough, put some more and then you'll be close. I know it's going to take about uh, about 300 blocks or so or brick to do this front. And that's the big brick. We got the utility brick. So you look at a brick against a, a hand there. Small, small brick are usually about half that size. So we're 12 inches. We're 12 inches long. Four inches high and four inches thick. That's gonna be the side that's out. These are dirty block brick. They're all brand new, but they're dirty. So the uh, we bought them from a uh, basically a yard that went out of business and they've been sitting forever. So uh, we got them at a discount. So that's what we do to keep the price low. Go to discount houses, find what you need. They're going to be just about enough. We might not have quite enough, but we'll uh, we'll do some stuff on the back of the house to make up for it if we do not have enough. So you'll have to stay tuned and see if we have enough. I'm 95% sure we don't have enough, but we'll see. Y'all stay tuned. You just keep doing this all the way around the house, basically. But I got to get up there and help them. Believe it or not, y'all, these are triangle bricks. So we found this in whatever part of the stuff brought it off. But you can see it says whatever there. That is triangle brick. Woohoo! Now we know who made them anyway. thought concrete was no good anymore. When your bags get hard, just break it back up. Not the best scenario in the world, but it's rock hard. Just keep busting it. It'll turn right back in. a little portion with it it'll be concrete again no problem so basically we're going to save 10 bags of concrete here that we had for another project that got hard on us and uh we'll just make it back into concrete ain't no problem everybody's so quick to throw everything away you ain't got to throw it away. You just got to work with it a little bit. It's busting up concrete. 
And we're not doing this for a money issue. We're doing it because we don't want to. We don't want to uh, waste it. You know, throw it in the dump. Everybody's worked that hard to get that stuff in that bag. It ain't worth throwing it away. I mean, it is expensive, but you know, you're talking about fifty dollars worth of concrete to me. Um, but we had it paid for on the last job, so we uh, we didn't think about it. So now we got another job. We'll use it. Save the money and the resources. Everybody needs to get like this, where everybody working with save all the little stuff but anyway let me get stop yapping my mouth and uh help the guy make some concrete okay y'all we're fixing to get underway here you dump water on all your bricks keep your bricks wet dump water on the concrete footing keep your concrete wet get you a string line where you want the top of your brick get everything nice and wet okay basically you don't want your mortar that they're mixing over there to dry out too quick. So if your bricks are not wet, you'll lose moisture going into your bricks. You'll lose moisture going into your concrete. You'll lose more <clears throat> moisture going into everything. So make sure that everything is wet. Wet everything down. I got these bricks wet, I got these bricks wet, and I got the foundation wet there. So we're making the the uh, the uh, mortar here they're mixing it up making it by hand so basically we put uh, two bags of sand I mean two wheelbarrows full of sand to two bags of mortar so that's how we're doing it but keep everything wet that's the trick wet it wet it wet it wet it get it soaking wet Just fine, you just gotta gotta work it a little bit. Tu gusta poquito agua? Yeah. Put me ya. Oh, okay. So see, y'all, it's working just fine. You just mix it up real good <clears throat> and it breaks up and you don't have no clumps, no nothing and it. It works perfect. Okay, y'all, we're getting this first course in. Get you a level line there. Basically, we went and measured from the trailer down to that string and made it level all the way across there. We had a little dip so that... I got a bee harassing me. We had a little dip down there so they they have uh went back and filled that dip in to get it nice and flat and then they're putting their first course in <coughs> a pro tip there in the middle they take a uh like a piece of cardboard off of one of the uh concrete bags and they fold it over and they put another brick sitting on top of it so that holds your string line from going down or up there and keeps it the damn uh vibration and string line to a minimum so whatever he does on that side of the line, it don't affect this side of the line and it keeps it on a straight plane. So anyway, we're uh, we're getting to it here. Like I say, we're using these these bricks that we got out of the old brick quarry. And you see they're all dirty and dusty and got trash all over them, but we're still using them. They just kind of brush the tops of them off from where they're putting mortar and go with it. But that's the first course there. These are utility bricks, which mean they're 12 inches long, four inches thick and four inches high, <clears throat> or real close to that. After you put the mortar in there, they're that. So that's what we're working on. We're gonna try to get a couple more courses in here and then we'll come back and let you see it. Okay, y'all, we got the first line in. First row, whatever you wanna call it. You're putting the second row to it now. He's getting it. I got another guy down there on that end coming this way. So we're uh, we're coming right along with it slowly but surely.
okay. That's going to be the, the basically the teeth that go that way. So that'll be a full brick going that way. Then the next course will not be. And the next course will be. And the next course will not be. So on so forth. So that's what they're doing. And that's how they do it. They butter the end of the brick down. Bump it on the ground. For some reason that keeps it on there a little better. And then they set it down. Milwaukee coming through again, you know. Milwaukee's got to get it done every time. So, we got the Milwaukee out. You can buy these blades at Lowe's and Home Depot. It's just a, like a tile blade. You buy them and they, they'll cut any kind of concrete. You can cut concrete. You can cut brick. You can cut tile. You can cut whatever you want with them. And they're dry cuts, so it, don't, it ain't that bad. It ain't that dusty when you're cutting these little bricks like this. But it's a good tool to have in the arsenal. And them things are a little pricey. They're about 40, 50 bucks a blade. So you got to worry about that. But other than that, you're good to go. You can cut all day long. He's going to go get the hammer and he's going to come back and break it off. And uh, we'll see here how good it is. And there you go. Cut just like that. Cuts 80% of the way through and breaks the other. Okay, y'all, we're four courses up. We're getting on the fifth course. Now, he's working it, cutting it. <coughs> these, uh, these mobile homes, they've got metal frames under them. So, like right there, you got to cut out where you can slide that brick. He's basically cutting a groove in that brick where it will slide into the, that's basically the tongue there. He's trying to get it to slide in there. So that's what he's doing there. It's kind of a pain, but we'll get it. It's uh, a lot of times, sometimes you gotta put it in two pieces in there cause it just won't go. So he's working on that. <coughs> Another thing, these things have got braces that come up from underneath them. When you hit one of them braces, you won't be able to put it in. We got one bent back here where I can show you. <coughs> and by the guy rocking and rolling over here. But if you see that brace right there, the brace is like a triangle. It comes up and hits up here. You can't get anything in there because the, the brace is in there. So you got to cut out the backside of the brick ever so slightly to let that brace give it some room. So we're getting it. It's five high is what it's going to take on this one on the front. Um, but we're getting it there. That one there don't have mortar around it. Basically, it's going to slide out when everything else hardens up. We'll slide it out and we'll slide that next one up out or the second one up from that out to make basically fingers that go over into that other one that other side so we'll put a 12 inch brick in there that'll stick out like uh eight inches that way to hold that wall on this wall plumb so basically it'll give you a right angle where it won't collapse as easy and uh that last course is extremely difficult you gotta stick them bricks in there and kind of pull the the siding out where you can get to it and wiggle it in there and get it locked in place where you want it. So he's having to, somebody's rolled the bottom of that siding under, he's having to roll it back out to get to it. And uh, then we'll get it all in there and get it, get it lined up and all that good stuff, get it sitting up on top of that mortar and it's just a, it's a pain in the butt to get it. But we'll get it slowly but surely. It takes three times longer to set these brick because they're just a pain in the butt to get in there. See what he's doing there, he's pulling that siding, trying to get that wall nice and flat. And it's hard to get anything up on top of it to push the front of it down to make it, to make it look better. Or not better, but make it look 
flat in there, basically. You can see if you look down the edge there, you can see what he's dealing with. Guys get mad when you show them that kind of work, but he uh, he's getting it slowly but surely. He's painting the wood. And this Milwaukee here keeps showing how good it is. fix it that way so anyway that's just a uh, cutting wheel diamond wheel on a grinder four and a half inch so that's what we're using okay y'all we're finishing it up here you can't see nothing but she's finished finished in this corner anyway okay y'all there we go Got a little bit of light on the subject. What you think, Ronnie? Boy, it looks great. The boys are working till the sun goes down. The sun's gone down. It's December though. Yeah. So, so the, uh, you know. It's early. Well, they did a great job though. It's real flat. So we'll come back next time and keep working on it. I'm gonna have to bleep all this, Donnie. Oh, man, I'm working hard running this camera. Donnie's wearing his one lonely farmer sweatshirt. It's getting cold out today. Yep. For some reason. That's about what they do, right? I think so. We'll leave the water for them. Let's see the agua. You have me bought it? We're still practicing. Man, that was rough. <laughs> hey, Juan. Hey, he can show you how to do it. You, you, you want to learn? You go to, you go to ask you, yeah, Squela. <laughs> I didn't do it, y'all. It was not me. It was not me. Juan did it, and then he walked over to get the bucket, and Donnie's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, to Augusta. <laughs> Don't let me give you. No problem. No problem. <laughs> <laughs>